accessory that we thought we'd try and share with you today. So it is this. Some of you might have an idea what it is. Uh, we've got it because we think it will be quite useful. So we'll hop into the car and we'll try and show you what it is and set it up. Got the accessory here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up and I'll show you what we have bought. Um, this is the box it comes in. So nice box with Tesla written on. We've got the Model 3 symbol at the top. Oh, we open it up. And I'll try to show you. Hopefully the camera picks that up. So it's the Tesla Model 3 key fob. Um, we've gone for it because we've just thought that it'll be handy to have it as well as our phones and the key card. Um, I worried a little bit though when I ordered it because we came across something that said um, it didn't work for, I think, it's, I'm not sure if it's called passive opening, so that when you walk up to the car it didn't open the car for you, you had to actually use this, but apparently this is the updated version. So. I don't know if you can see it's just a little key actual tesla symbol sorry tesla shaped um and on the bottom of it it has actually got written tesla so this is how we know it's the newer version so this one does open the car when you just walk up to it so we'll try and get it set up on the screen um and then i will go outside and i'll show you the actual features of it as well so we'll get it set up right so to set it up, we're going to have to put one of the batteries in first. So if you turn the key over, um, this panel on the back, um, so that I didn't break my nails, I've just got Scott to prise the back of it off, but the panel here on the back that says Tesla, you can just put a nail or something into the back there and you just basically flick that bit off. So that comes off like that. So I'll just put that there carefully a minute. And then obviously you've got your battery here. So do provide you with two batteries. So take one battery out and I'm presuming it does go that way in. Oh, it's got a bit of a lip on it there. So if we just... It does seem quite a tight fit. That was a little bit difficult actually it seems a tight fit but there's a lip here and there's a lip on that side so i am guessing that that is set up so this has got a little bit of a lip on it here as well so we'll put that back on there why does everything seem really fiddly oh hang on i'm not sure if that's it nah got it right it is, it just it clips on. It seems like you're going to break it. So the battery's in. So now we need to set it up on the car. So I'll go through the steps of this bit next. So the next stage is to set it up on here and add this as a key to use. Um, I've not even named my um, key card yet either. So I need to do that. So we'll go into the settings. Now Scott said he's not telling me where the settings are for this. So I'm not sure if it is in... No, it won't be in software, will it? Wiper services. Display, driving. Keys, right. Unknown key phone key card so this is all new to me add a key that's an unknown key card we'll go add key no oh, we've got a key fob there so i don't want to add a phone we want to add a key fob scan your new key behind the cup holder to begin so this has got battery in so it should work so we need to put this where the cup holders are just lift the armrest up out of the way so scan that scan key behind the cup hold to begin oh right 
where I did put the key card, tap an existing key to approve the pairing. So that's right. Is that done? Which is the unknown key though? This is the thing now. I'm going to guess it's this top one. See, no, I don't want to remove one. Right, edit. I'll just type key fob. I'm presuming the top one is the actual key. So I've added that, but what I need to do now is I will actually need to check that this is actually that one that was at the top. Right. So I'm not sure if because I've got another key in the car, that's why this isn't doing anything. But I've got active and active. So, um, boot. So once doesn't do anything. Let's do it twice. Ah. Right, so that at the top is the key fob. Right. And that shuts it. Yeah. Brilliant. Right, so now we've got this activated, I think we'll take it outside the car and we'll test some of the features on it as well because it does do the locking, the unlocking, the boot, it should do the front and it is supposed to do the charging port as well. So we'll leave inside the car and we'll take the, uh, key, the key fob outside. Right, so now this is set up, we'll see if the functions work. So we'll start with unlocking and locking. So you should, I think it was twice to unlock. So if we, right, so there we go, so that's unlocked, so Mirror Girl pulls it out, and if I double tap it again, it should be two taps again to lock, so two, and it didn't lock, so we'll try holding it, no, two, <laughs> one, right, one. Trial and error. So, right, so two ta two taps for unlock, one tap to lock. So the button here should do the front as well. So we just literally press the Tesla symbol on the front of the key fob. So two, do have to give a key press. So that's opened up as well. Yeah, so we'll pop that back down. And then if you do the boot, it's two taps on the boot and the boot should open. So two. So we've got the boot opening. And then if it is one press, so one press. Two. So the boot's two presses as well. So we have to do two presses on the boot for the boot to actually shut. Um, now a big advantage that I've seen a lot of people like the key fob for the car is that people say about the charging port. Um, so from in the house you can, you can just grab the key and if you press and hold the actual boot button, so if I hold the boot button the charging flat should open. So, there you go. So the rest of the car stays locked so you can open the actual charging flat. Obviously, charging flat shuts itself. But there we go. I know obviously I'm not um, an expert on the Tesla key, but that is the actual Tesla key fob. Um, so hopefully the video there. I know I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't obviously brilliant at setting it up, but it's just an insight how you actually set it up. So the key is supposed to be passive opening and closing as well. So I've got the key on me. Got no other keys on me. So we'll hold that and right, so it does let me in. So yeah, so the old key, the old version of this didn't do that apparently, um, which is why I panicked a little bit when we ordered this and thought, oh, if it doesn't do that, I don't think there's any point in actually having the key. So it does work. Um, and if I walk away from the car now, then it will obviously lock. So I'll walk away, go out a radius of the car, just keep focusing on the car, we'll see. I 
Why have I walked away? It's not. Right, I walked all the way down there, out the thing, walked back to the car, and it locked. <laughs> so there you have it. That's the key fob, the Tesla key fob. I'll try and just hold it a little bit here a minute, just so you can see. So it does look just, just like a car. We've got this um we've got this like keychain band for it as well. So it literally has you can see. So it's a rubber band, like a rubber band. Um and it's supposed to go over the key so that you can actually so it's got a keychain on it. So it literally just goes over the key. And that that holds it in place so it's got a rubber casing on it protect it a little bit as well but I don't think we're going to use I don't think we're going to be using this kind of a, like a pick up and grab key might be a key that we're just leaving the house I don't know we might end up using it a lot there's a lot of people did say that they did love the key um, and I'm glad that it does do the passive opening um because it was a, i watched a video and the video just said about not doing passive opening and i was like i said to scott i said oh if it doesn't do passive opening i said we might as well just send it back um i'll put the link in the video as well um it's that di order directly from tesla i don't obviously think people make copies of them but yeah it's directly from tesla and the cost of it including shipping so it, that was no extra cost it's 150 pound um i think it's worth it you know you I think you pay about £150, if not more, with other manufacturers for a key. So to have an actual physical key, which is what a lot of people are used to, because at the moment now, I've obviously got my phone set up as a key and I've got the actual key card, um, but my actual like, set of house keys, I, I nearly, I'm nearly forgetting them, because I've not got an actual car key on, on house keys. So there you go anyway, that's the actual key fob. I hope the video has been a little bit informative and I do apologise that obviously some of the features I've had to kind of find out as I was doing the video, but hopefully hopefully you find that a little bit funny. <laughs> I was um, I was getting a bit frustrated actually thinking, oh it's not going right, it's not opening. But yeah, I'll upload the video, it'll only be a small short video uh, showing you the yeah key fob tesla key pop key fob for the model 3 but yeah i think it is a good addition not everybody might want one not everybody might like it but you can do everything you can do through the app or through your phone with the actual key card but obviously it's got the added added benefit as well of if you just want quick access to the charging port without going through the app without going inside the car and pressing on here to open charge flap etc or open the charge port you can do it by keeping your finger you keep your finger held on the boot it opens the charging flap just on its own so the rest of the car will stay shut but it'll open just the charging flap so I'll leave it there guys um hopefully catch you in the next video i've got another video as well on some accessories so that'll either have been before this video or it'll be after but well, thanks for watching and hopefully you'll um subscribe to us and join us next time thank you hey guys got an accessory that do you know it's not going to hear anything hey guys we've got an accessory that we thought we'd share with you so it's this well i've not opened it yet so i know what it is but You know what? I'm sorry with the shit in the background. And why is it all on me? <laughs> why have I walked away and it's not? Right, I walked all the way down there, out the thing, walked back to the car, and it locked. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was... It just takes a little bit of time, doesn't it, I think? No.